So in this section of the course, we're going to really talk about the four-sided poly uh, polygon called a quadrilateral in some detail. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to kind of draw a big diagram on the board. Uh, I think it's going to make things a little bit clear. We already said that a four-sided figure uh, is called, what did we say it was called? We said it was called a quadrilateral. So we'll write that down here, quad lateral. Okay, so quadrilateral. And all that means is it has four sides. Okay, that's all it means, quadrilateral. Okay. Now, uh, over here, we have one family of quadrilaterals we want to talk about called parallelograms. And uh, parallelograms are kind of cool. They they're kind of look like exactly how they sound. They're a uh, shape with parallel lines, parallelograms. Okay, so I'll write that down here. Parallelogram. Parallelograms. Okay, all it means is um, two pairs of parallel lines. So here's a parallel line. This is parallel to this, this is parallel to this. Okay, that's a parallelogram. Now, of the parallelogram family, you have a couple of different choices here. One of them is a very familiar rectangle, which you already know, right? That looks like a rectangle. I'll just put that down, rectangle. And uh, the, the definition of, of a rectangle is uh, four congruent angles. Um, now, this may not be the definition that you learned when you were in second grade, but, but really in geometry it just means that the four angles inside here are, are congruent. They're, they're equal to one another. Uh, the lengths of the sides have nothing to do with it, um, which you already know. A rectangle can be very big or very short or whatever, but it just has to have the four angles uh, be congruent, which also means that they have to be 90 degrees, by the way, four uh, 90 degree angles. Okay. Um, and let me go down here and say, well, there's a special kind of rectangle I think you all know about called a square. Okay, so this is a square. Um, and the definition of a square is uh, four congruent angles and four congruent sides. Okay, so four equal sides and four congruent interior angles that go 90 degrees. That's a square. Now backing up the truck here, up to parallelograms. Splitting off here, you have another family called a rhombus. Okay, so here you have these guys here. Uh, this is a this is a rhombus, and so you have four congruent sides. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about this side of the family here, just to just to make sure you understand how I'm how I'm drawing it. What I'm saying is that any four-sided shape is called a quadrilateral. And of all of the shapes of, that have four sides, um, you have a certain family of them that have parallel sides, where you know these two, line, two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel. That's called a parallelogram. Okay. Now, if the shape also has the same angle, the same angles all in all four corners, then that's called a rectangle. And then further, if that shape has the same length side, in addition to the angles being the same, it's called a square. Now, that's the same thing you already know. And then backing up the truck here, if you have a parallelogram with parallel sides and also congruent sides, uh, congruent sides meaning that the, the lengths of these sides are 